Hello, welcome to the American Backpacker. Today I'm doing my fourth video on land navigation. And in today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about magnetic declination. Now to understand magnetic declination, you have to understand that there's three norths. There's a grid north, which is the north-south grid lines on the map, on your topo map. There's the true north, which is the direction pointing towards the North Pole. And there's your magnetic north, which is your compass reading. Now for this presentation, I'm gonna omit grid north because the difference between grid north and true north is very small. And I'm gonna talk specifically about uh, true north. So when I say map bearing, I'm meaning the true north of bearing. Now understand that magnetic declination changes yearly. So I'm providing a link here to the NOAA website to make sure that you have an updated magnetic declination before you go out. You may have a topographical map that may be several years old and it won't give you the correct magnetic declination. So with that said, I'm gonna pull up a diagram and show you how to do that conversion. Magnetic declination. When you're looking at magnetic declination, you have to determine whether you have an easterly declination or a westerly declination. And you can find that again in the legend of the topo map. Here, you have true north there and you have magnetic north. Magnetic north is to the right of true north. So here we have an easterly declination because your magnetic north is pointing towards the east. And we have a six degree easterly magnetic declination here. So to convert your map bearing to a magnetic bearing, your map to compass, you're gonna subtract the magnetic declination. East is least. That's what you need to remember. East is least. East of the declination, you subtract. So, if somebody gives you a 180 map bearing, you're going to subtract the 6 degree easterly declination, which will give you 174. And that's going to be your compass reading there. Again, map to compass. Now, if you want to convert it from compass to map, you're going to add in an easterly. But I don't want to get you confused. Just remember, east is least, map to compass. You're going to subtract your declination. Westerly declination. Here you noticed we have true north and magnetic north. Magnetic north is to the left of true north, and it's pointing in a westerly direction. So we have a westerly declination. And here we have eight degrees. West is best. So to convert your map bearing to a magnetic bearing, you're gonna add magnetic declination in a westerly declination. So if you have 180 degrees and you have a westerly declination, you wanna convert from map to compass, you're going to add 8 degrees, and it's 188 degrees. It could be your compass heading. Now again, if you want to go from compass to map, you're going to subtract. But again, just remember, west is best, map to compass. And that's how you convert your magnetic declination. East is least, west is best. And there you have it, folks, how to convert your magnetic declination from your map bearing to your compass bearing. Now, I made the video as short as possible, and I hope you liked it. There's a lot of videos uh, on YouTube about magnetic declination, and sometimes they can get uh, convoluted and very complex to understand, so I kept it as short as possible. If you liked the video, please click like below. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, The American Backpacker. And also, check out my Facebook page. There I post pictures on my uh, wilderness expeditions. I also have a webpage, AmericanBackpacker.tv, where I write articles on the videos that I post here on my YouTube channel. This is Andy with the American Backpacker. Thank you for watching.